Welcome to this holy instant now. An instant to stop and remember. Remember who and what you truly are beyond the matrix of fear, lack, and limitation. All that seems to limit you in this world is only an illusion that demands your continued belief and attention in order to have any power over you. Now is your opportunity to let go of whatever stands in the way of your complete awareness of your true and original self. Sit back with your spine upright, get comfortable, and take a deep, slow breath. And as you exhale, release both past and future, release both memory and imagination, and become fully present in the now. And let's begin. The contemplation with which we begin today's practice is this. What is the real world? The real world is a symbol like the rest of what perception offers. Yet it stands for what is opposite to the world of separation that you have placed your faith in. Perception is projection, and it reflects the mind of its maker. Your world is seen through eyes of fear and brings the witnesses of terror to your mind. The real world cannot be perceived except through eyes forgiveness blesses. So they see a world where terror is impossible and witnesses to fear cannot be found. The real world holds a counterpart for each unhappy thought that is reflected in your world, a sure correction for the sights of fear and sounds of battle which your world contains. The real world is seen differently through quiet eyes and with a mind at peace. Nothing but rest is there. There are no cries of pain and sorrow heard, for nothing here remains outside forgiveness, and the sights are gentle. Only happy sights and sounds can reach a mind that has forgiven itself. What need has such a mind for thoughts of death, attack, and war? What can it perceive surrounding it but safety, love, and joy? What is there that it would choose to be condemned? And what is there that it would judge against? The world it sees arises from a mind at peace within itself. No danger lurks in anything it sees, for it is kind, and only kindness does it look upon. The real world is the symbol that the dream of sin and guilt is over, and the holy ones of God no longer sleep. 
take a moment now to contemplate the real world and enter into the consciousness of it through your attention and intention. So take a deep, slow and full breath in. And as you let it go, let your mind and body relax. Connect with your divine identity, the transcendent sense of self, independent of any experience in the world. Realizing now that the dream of sin and guilt is over, your waking eyes perceive the reflection of your Creator's love in everything that you look upon, assuring you that you are redeemed and loved. Take the next minute or so to contemplate this now. This perception of the real world is our goal today, for it contains the memory of God. And as we look upon a world forgiven, it is God himself who calls to us and comes to take us home, reminding us of our true divine identity, which our forgiveness has restored to us. And now, take one more deep, slow, and full breath in. And as you exhale slowly, let your mind and body relax deeper still as you open your awareness to the idea with which we practice today. My body is a wholly neutral thing. I am a child of God the extension and continuation of the one infinite creator. And can I be another thing as well? Did God create the mortal and corruptible? What use as God's beloved child for what must die? And yet, a neutral thing does not see death, for thoughts of fear are not invested there, nor is a mockery of love bestowed upon it. Its neutrality protects it while it has a use, and afterwards, without a purpose, it is laid aside. It is not sick, or old, or hurt. It is but functionless, 
unneeded and cast off. Let me not see the body as more than this today, of service for a while and fit to serve, to keep its usefulness while it can serve, and then to be replaced for greater good. My body, infinite creator, cannot be your child. And what is not created by you cannot be sinful or sinless, neither good nor bad. Let me then use this dream to serve your plan that we awaken from all the dreams we made. The body, just like everything else in the dream, is entirely neutral apart from the meaning that you assign to it. How you perceive the body is based entirely on what you project onto it. Project your sense of self and the body appears as you. Project fear and the body appears as vulnerable, subject to sickness and death. But when you project the truth from the awareness of this present instant, you will realize that the body is an instrument here to serve the unfolding of the evolution of consciousness. In the divine process of awakening to the recognition of oneness and the all-pervading presence of the Creator's love. The body is not you because you perceive the body. The body does not perceive you. You move the body. The body does not move you. And you can change the body, while the body can never change who and what you truly are. My body is a wholly neutral thing.
as you approach the completion of this practice period. Take another deep, slow, and full breath in. Breathing in all of the energy and frequency of your practice, integrating it into all aspects of your thought system and your perception now. And as you exhale slowly, relax and release and allow the integration to take place. And remember to bring this feeling, this awareness, and this idea with you into the rest of your day. My body is a wholly neutral thing. I am a child of God, the extension and continuation of the one infinite creator. And can I be another thing as well? Did God create the mortal and corruptible? What use as God's beloved child for what must die? And yet, a neutral thing does not see death, for thoughts of fear are not invested there, nor is a mockery of love bestowed upon it. Its neutrality protects it while it has a use, and afterwards, without a purpose, it is laid aside. It is not sick or old or hurt. It is but functionless, unneeded, and cast off. Let me not see the body as more than this today, of service for a while, and fit to serve, to keep its usefulness while it can serve, and then to be replaced for greater good. gratitude is to you for investing this time and energy into your awakening and the awakening of the world. If you enjoyed and benefited from this practice and wish to support this channel, take a moment to like the video, subscribe to continue the journey, and leave a comment in the comment section below sharing what you will embrace and what you will release that will allow you to step ever more fully into your true self today. May you be at peace and know your true self.